Hi everyone, today I'll be making the um, Tardy Bells, the jumper version from um, Petite Stitchery. All right, I'm making a size six. So I already got the patterns cut. It um, calls for two leg pieces and then it calls for the um, jumper part. So let's get the cutting. And again, I'm making this for um, Black History Month. And I'm gonna add this to my Etsy, Etsy, uh, Etsy shop. So. Again, you gotta cut two pieces out. Sorry, I didn't um, say that part. But this is the front piece I'm cutting. And I did it, I um, layered the pieces. So it's, I folded the fabric in half. So it's half and half. So I placed it on top of each other. I didn't put it on the fold because it don't cause for the fold. All right, so we're gonna cut the other piece. Sorry, I didn't show y'all how I was um, folding it. All right, so this is the back piece. No, sorry, this is the front piece. We already did that part. We cut that piece out. So this is the back piece. So you gotta cut it mirrored. So which means you're gonna cut it. You're gonna fold it in half fold it in half Make sure it's all together and straight. All right, so place it on here. So like again, this is the back piece. So you cut in two pieces. So some people like to put weights on their fabric while they cutting it. Um, so the fabric, so the pattern won't move. You can use pretty much whatever you want. Sometimes I use canned goods, whatever I have on hand. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just using that plastic fish bowl. Just for the sake of the video but make sure you cut it all around all 
right, so this is, so we have all the two pants pieces cut. That's the last piece. All right, so. So just go by and get some pins and put them together. So when you sew it, you can just take the pins and sew them on here. So this is the second piece. All right, so now we's going to be doing the top part of the cut in. This is the jumper part. So you're gonna cut this on the fold. You're gonna do um, two of the main and two of the lining. I don't have a different lining. I'm just gonna use this for the lining as well as the um, main part. So you're cutting it on the fold. So you're gonna cut it sideways. This is the fold right here. So you're gonna take the pattern pieces and the part that says fold, you're gonna match it up with the part um, of the fold, all right? So, all right, you're gonna cut that piece. And again, you're gonna do this four times. So basically it's the lining of top. So they're gonna be, um, since they're the same print, it's just gonna be on top of each other, no special way. So let me finish cutting this other piece and then we're gonna head to the sewing machine. Again, depending on how slippery your fabric is, you should probably use some type of paperweight to keep the pattern down. I'm just sewing. I mean, I'm just cutting as I and hold the paper as I go. As a beginner, I wouldn't suggest it, but whatever works best for you. All right, so all the pattern pieces are cut out. So oh, this is what I had left over. It was a total of two yards, so I'm just put that up. It's best to clean up as you go, honestly. Um, all right, so we have the front part of the jumper. It's the front part, both parts. We have the back part of the jumper. That part, and then we have the the top part, which is the top part of the jumper, which is the lining, the lining, the front lining, and the main piece, and then the back lining, and the back main. So total of two, four, six, eight pieces. So you're gonna sew these two, so this, these two, these two, all right, let's head to the sewing machine. 